This video is designed to talk you through um, the Newcastle County Down uh, Coastal Management Case Study. Uh, as you look at the screen now you will be able to see that this red section of uh, text in your GCSE ebook says that the scheme of work claims that you need to be able to evaluate coastal management strategies. We uh, know already that the ability to evaluate means that we've got to give both positives and negatives with regards to the strategies. The case study that we'll use in this example is Newcastle and County Down. You can see here your background information. Uh, it's in County Down, Northern Ireland, 8 kilometres of beach, 15,000 tourists visit in the summer, and the coastal management is used in Newcastle to ensure that these tourists uh, continue to visit the area. If you look at the next couple of pages in your ebook, you will see a number of strategies. Strategy one is the use of groins, and you can see that groins are used to reduce longshore drift. New wooden groins were put in place by the local council at uh, a cost of 1,250 meters uh, per 1,250 pounds per meter. Um, the positive of those are that they are effective at keeping the beach there and reducing longshore drift but they may cause coastal erosion further along the coast. So you can see the PEE with both the positives and negatives dealt with in that example. Second strategy is gabions. Those are the wire boxes filled with local, uh, locally sourced rocks. Protect the recreation ground at the mouth of the chimney. More sustainable than other methods, but they may need replaced in the future. Strategy number three uh, is the use of rock armour. That is uh, a sea wall uh, similar to what we have in Glenarm Harbour. This is used to protect the Royal County Down uh, golf course. If you look just at the edge of the picture uh, here in this area, you can just see the edge of the rock armour um, from the actual beach. Um, this was used to protect the golf course. It's proved unsustainable as it's reducing the sediment that's been transported along the coast to Murnock Bay. Strategy number four is the sea wall that's actually in the town itself. Sorry, uh, we spell a mistake there. The sea wall that's in the town itself. Um, it protects the buildings and roads. It was built in 2002 uh, at a cost of four million pounds. Protects the built environment, but the reflected waves uh, appear to be causing uh, an increase in beach erosion. The final thing in your notes that you'll need to have is your personal conclusion. Um, similar to the Mississippi case study, that needs to go there for top level 3 and an evaluation question. If you come across, you can see here we have uh, an example question with reference to a case study from the British Isles. Okay, so if you highlight it, British Isles, you could write Newcastle above it. Evaluate gives us positives, negatives, um, and some sort of personal opinion. Sustainability, we've already discussed in class, and coastal management strategies, you have studied. Eight marks available and four for spelling, punctuation and grammar. So, with regards to writing a plan for this question, obviously the first thing that you will do is you will state your case study, which in this case is Newcastle uh, County Down. I would suggest that you then, uh, for this number of marks, include two uh, fact, figure, place, evaluations of strategies. So we have four strategies in our notes. You can include whichever two you prefer. Finish off for this answer then is your personal conclusion or personal opinion. If you have a look at the mark scheme, um, you can see that in this example, level 368 marks, the sustainability of a named coastal management strategy is evaluated for 8 marks. It's got to include two fact figure place relating to that named coastal area within the British Isles. Some judgment or conclusion is needed for full evaluation. Let's have a look at this example answer. Some parts of coastlines erode very quickly, so coastal protection is needed to stop the beach being completely eroded. For example, Newcastle County Down. That's our case study. Groins. 
were put in place along the beach to stop the sand being moved northwards towards Murloc. However, these grunge made of wood have been eroded, so they no longer trap sand and they no longer protect the beach. They are expensive to build at over a £1,000 per metre and only last about 20 years, so are not sustainable. They are more environmentally friendly than other methods of management, however, groins can reduce the amount of sand carried further along the coast, and this could lead to the beach being eroded uh, further north towards Dum Drum Bay. So we've got our positive and negative in there. Gabions were used to protect the recreation grounds, and they can also uh, trap sand and protect the recreation land at the mouth of the river Shimna. That's our fact figure place. They cut off access to the beach and are not very environmentally friendly. Next, they've talked about a sea wall and promenade were built uh, to protect homes and businesses from high waves in winter along the sea front. The sea wall has a curved wave return design, print waves reflecting over on the promenade, but a wall is not attractive for tourists and it costs over 4 million positives and negatives. It will need to be replaced eventually, and so it's not very sustainable in the long term. This section then is our personal conclusion. More sustainable methods of management may be required, such as beach nourishment which is environmentally friendly, but it requires a continual addition of sand to the beach. All the strategies are expensive and require a lot of maintenance um, for them to be successful at protecting the beach at Newcastle and having to keep uh, attractive to tourists as well as protecting businesses. So a lot of detail in there for an eight mark answer. You can see clearly that that relates to our plan. State the case study, two fact figure, figure place, full evaluation of strategies and then some sort of personal comment at the end. For this question, there also is four marks for high performance in SPG or spelling, punctuation and grammar. And again, we've already discussed how we will deal with that.